Super excited to talk to you guys about past customers. Uh, it is amazing, the opportunity we have. I remember having a conversation with Luke Mills, uh, I think it was two years ago, and he's like, it's crazy now with the programs and like how good we are getting at selling to past customers that it's almost more exciting to talk to like a past customer that already owns Cutco than it is to talk to even like a new customer. Like, they're so much easier to sell to. They already know the product's really good and, and it's worth it, right? How, how much easier is it to walk them through the emotional roller coaster when like, hey, you've already been through this experience. Where you're like, am I crazy for making this investment? You're like, you did it once and I'm sure you felt the same way, right? Yeah, I did feel that way. I'm like, and like, what'd you find? Like, we're really happy we did it. I'm like, I know, you're gonna feel that same way again. So, <clears throat> let's dive in. You guys obviously all heard my first talk. And one of my, my, one of my key things was where, where focus goes, energy flows. So with, when it comes to past customers, I love the idea of making that a program as well, right? So being program focused. What are our programs? We have like our, you know, our $4,000 package deals. I also loved Brandon like talking about, like so this, is, this one has service for 12. I like never thought about phrasing it that way. Versus like some, some people are like, oh my gosh, I don't think I would use that many table knives. I'm like, yeah, this one has service for 12, just like you have service for 12 place settings, right? Like if, if you didn't write that down, like that's a nugget. I was like, oh, this one has service for eight, service for 10, service for 12. Explain it to your customer, like this is the only set that comes with enough table knives. You have service for 12 in here. I love the idea of, of using that verbiage now with every single past customer that I'm, I'm showing the ultimate upgrade to. This is the only one that comes with service for 12 table knives. The thing I love about the table knives, they're kind of like candy. You can never have too many of them. Oh my gosh, my sister-in-law, like she has this set. She doesn't even use like the kitchen knives. Like these are her go-to knives, and this is the only set that has enough of them. They're pretty much always in the dirt, they're always pretty much always dirtier in the dishwasher. You're gonna love having more in your, in your complete upgrade today. Being programs focused is talking about the, the, the four main things. Mrs. Jones, like what I'm, so, what I'm super happy about is like because we're a premier sponsor of this event, because we're this is our first year here at this event, Cut was actually allowing us to do exclusive deals on some of our best kept secrets. What you promote, you will sell. We get what we focus on most of the time. I want to give you guys a couple of qu quick tips. When it comes to knee-jerk reactions, how do you transition your customer from, oh, like we have this stuff, to cool, let me show you our new programs. I call these my knee-jerk knee reactions or my boilerplate responses. Right, you get the, like, oh, like what kind of deals you got going? I remember when I was a brand new rep, I was like, shotgun, all the deals out to her. And they're like, uh, yeah, buy two, get one free. And I'm like, ah, crap. And you just like, giant upsell from there. Instead of starting there, you go, oh my gosh, we have some amazing deals here. Most customers are saving you from 10 to 40% off, depending on what you're looking for. Is it okay if I show you our most popular specials that we're doing here? I'm gonna say that again. Oh my gosh, we have some amazing deals here. Most of our customers are saving anywhere from 10 to 40% off, just depending on what they're looking for. Is it, is it okay if I show you some of our most popular specials that we're running? Sure, you can show us. Awesome. Well, like what a lot of our customers have been doing, boom, right into the ultimate upgrade approach. Where focus goes, energy flows. I was working an event with Jason Jeffrey last year, and I watched him sell 12 ultimate upgrades throughout the weekend, and I sold one. I was like, dang it, what is, what, like, what's different? And what was different was that every single person, he does the ultimate upgrade approach to. Doesn't matter if they're, like, literally I watched him, I, I, I had started talking to this couple, and this was like a, two years ago when I was crashing, I started talking to this couple, like, probably in their 60s, 70s, and I started doing, like, I was like, oh, like, they've had them for 50 years, they love it, like, I was gonna sell them a five-piece special for sure. And Jason comes back, and I'm like, oh, hey, this is actually my trainer, he was just going to the bathroom, like, this is actually the guy that you wanna talk to. I like, hey, like I showed him these five. He's like, oh, cool. So like you started showing him the, the upgrade. Jumps right into it, sells an ultimate upgrade for 1400 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? I definitely would have sold them a five-piece special. Because in my mind, I was like, oh, they're, they're, like, they're an older couple. They, they, they probably wouldn't even use everything. The great line is, 
you show them the ultimate upgrade. And then, like, you get this read from them, like, they're just not into it. You're like, yeah, and you probably wouldn't even use, like, like half the stuff in there, right? Now I'm on their side. Right? Yeah, like, you probably wouldn't. Like, not, not, like, most people don't do, like, the whole upgrade today. What most people are doing is actually this, A50 package, right? Do you guys have a package progression you work through with a new customer? Or, like, with a, with a new past customer, right? It should always be ultimate upgrade, A50 package, 5P special. Like, that should be your knee-jerk reaction. That should be where you go every single time. Why? Because that's the easiest thing to sell. Like, my shotgun approach now to, like, telling customers about specials is, like, we have, like, our four main deals that we're doing here is, like, we actually have, like, an amazing special on our knife upgrade, which is, like, what most of our customers are taking advantage of. We also are promoting, actually, a couple of newer programs for Kaka that most people don't even know we do. Like, what's that? I'm like, oh, like, well, most people don't even know. Like, uh, one of our best-kept secrets is that we actually are the last high-quality American-made flatware. Most people don't even know. Like, we actually started with the cookware even before the knives. Is your, dis is your display set up in such a way that it promotes your packages that you're selling? Like, my booth is always extremely intentional. I always have a business gift right up front with a little sign. I always have my ultimate upgrade like laid out. So I, I'm like, this is the board that I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna work my way through. And I always have a, like the, the one quart saucepan right next to me. And then like, if you don't already have a full flatware chest, I would definitely encourage you, one, figure out a way to get a, get a, get a chest and get some flatware in there. That's the first step. Two, is, you know, if, if it's like within the, like the realm of possibility, like invest in the chest. It's just different for the customer when they see a full box of beauty, right? If you haven't yet, freaking listen to Mike Dowd's flatware approach. It's on YouTube. By the way, if you're not using resources like YouTube, there's a bunch from Josh, from Jason, from Mike. They put this content up there. If you're not taking advantage of it, like literally just YouTube their names and like subscribe to their channels. I cannot tell you the amount of upgrades they sell because of selling, being able to sell the thin slicer, the salmon knife. If you get good at selling salmon knives and vegetable knives, you're gonna sell up all the upgrades, right? What are your power intros when it comes to the flatware, the cookware, the knives? Do you have a 30 to 60 second thing where you're like not gonna overwhelm them or waste their time telling about something that they don't, they don't care about? Do you have a, a quick elevator speech on each, on each of those programs? Again, where focus goes, energy flows. Think about what you want and, and then speak that into existence. What I, what I always notice is as soon as I get back from training with Jason, when I cross train, I always sell way more ultimate upgrades. Why? Because I have an ultimate upgrade approach that I focus on. A great line for that person that like comes up saying like, hey, like, do you have individual, do you guys, like, do you sell them individually? Write this down. Oh yeah, you can for sure buy just one knife. And you pause. But the five piece special is such a crazy deal that I feel, I'd, I'd feel bad if I didn't at least show it to you. Is it okay to just show it to you really quickly? Yeah, you can for sure buy just one knife. But the five piece special is such a crazy deal that I'd feel bad if I didn't at least show it to you. Or I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't at least show it to you. Is it okay to show you real quickly? Well, sure, you can show us. Cool. Because, I mean, it's like, the thing is, is like, so many of our customers are finding that it's like such a better deal for them in the long run. Plus, we have this really cool option that most of our customers are taking advantage of called our Knife of the Month Club. I'll tell you more about that at the end. If you're not promoting the five pay as the knife of the month club, you should. Yeah, Mrs. Jones, it's kind of crazy. So, like, we had so many customers, because Cutco's, you know, expensive. Like, they would buy a knife here and a knife there. They ended up spending a lot of money on Cutco. And that's actually Cutco's, like, that's how they would prefer you to buy. They make way more money that way if you just buy them one at a time here and there. So what, we, what, they, what they finally started doing, though, for our customers, what Cutco finally started doing for our customers is they designed this... Knife of the Month Club, where you actually get all the knives up front, 
and we just bill you basically for like a knife a month for the next five months. You just get the savings of doing it all together. And what's nice is that it basically takes the average cost per knife from like $100 to $200 per knife on average down to like basically about 80 bucks. Is it okay to show you that real quick? You show them the five knives, right? On average, guys, our knives are between like 100 and 200 per knife on average. That's the knee jerk question. Like, oh, how much is that knife? Well, like, the knives average about 100 to 200 dollars per knife. Uh, some, some of them even more. Check this one out, and you refocus them. There are two ways to upgrade here at the show today. You can either do our do our full out upgrade where we basically get you the nine, the nine new customer recommended pieces that we've come out with over the years based on customers' feedback. Or we can just minimize it down to like the five most popular pieces. Which would you be more interested in me showing you? And then, boom, you show them one or the other. These five pieces here, you've done, you've done, the, you've done the, the ultimate upgrade approach. You've dropped down to the A50 package. What's cool about the A50 package is just five knives with the block, two table knives. If you don't have the special sheets, like you should, because it makes it so much easier to sell it. You're basically selling it for full price, but it's positioned in such a way that it's it's a special and it's a design it's a design package. You show it to them, and then they're like, "Yeah, I just like, I just don't really know." And you're like, "Cool. Well, like, what's awesome is we've already minimized down to the five knives, right? That they like. Like, how about this? Like." I'm just going to do something special for you. Um, you just got to promise to never buy from anyone else, okay? I'm going to be your guy if you ever want to add on in the future. Um, we'll just, we'll just, I'll just take the full price of the block. Normally, like, you know, it's discount as a package. Like, I'm just going to take the full price of the block off, which is like 400 bucks, and like, we'll just get you the knives you actually really, really want. Is that cool? And like, don't worry. Like, I'll still make some money on it. And you just got to promise you'll be, you know, you'll be loyal to me in the future, okay? These five pieces here, and then this is, this is a money line I learned from Jason. These five pieces here cut totally different from anything you have in your, in your house right now. You know what I love about these? These five pieces cut totally different from anything you have in your house right now. So now it's not like this, well, like, I already have, like, because they're in their minds, sometimes they're thinking, especially if they have a homemaker set they've had for 30 years, like, there are pieces in there that I don't even use right now, so why would I buy more pieces? So what I love about these knives, these five knives, Mrs. Jones, and like they cut totally different than anything you have in your home right now. And then they just make your life so much easier. And what's awesome is these knives are actually designed for people that don't really even cook. Like these are the ones that are designed for people that entertain, that grill and barbecue. If you guys, if you guys do that like on a regular basis, like you're going to use the heck out of these new pieces. So there's a different tool for different jobs. And I'm not sure if you've heard of like Snap-on tools, but like like a lot of customers will like they'll buy like a hundred dollar wrench or a hundred dollar like hammer that they use like once a month. And these are something like we use like every day. It's just it's just crazy. Another another boilerplate. If you're in the market to add on to your collection, I'm gonna show you the five the five pieces that Cutco has innovated over the last 60 years. The great thing about Cutco owners is they already know the value of Cutco. But remember, sometimes you have to resell them on it. Like the, you, the reason you want to ask great questions, like, oh, like by the way, how long have you had it? By the way, have you taken advantage of the of the guarantee? Have you ever got them sharpened for free? Oh, well, like here's why most people do the upgrade, because then you have some good knives to hold you off while the other ones go back. Right? You get that person that's like, oh, no, like, I've never sharpened them before. Like, how do you do that? And you're like, you tell them how to, like, send them in or you sign them up for a service call. I usually, because of, like, where I'm at in the business, I'm not signing tons of people up for service calls. I love the idea of service events, but I just, I just don't have the time. So most of the time, I'm, like, I'm giving them the instructions on how to send it back or I'm having them sign up for, like, me to send them the instructions on my service call sheet. I'm like, hey, I'm going to email you the link, everything you need to know. And they're like, well, like, how long does it take? I'm like, oh, usually about two weeks. Um, that's actually why a lot of people are doing your upgrade program here. Because that way you'll have a couple of good knives to hold you off while the other ones go back. 
I'm like, oh, I see what you did there. I'm like, I know, right? Isn't it great? We're going to have you covered with a couple of good knives while, while the other ones go back. And actually, what most people do is they just use the box that the new stuff comes in to mail back the old stuff. A great reminder, guys, is to have the highest standards for every interaction. Do you believe that every Cutco customer should own a Cutco kitchen? Do you promote it? Something that I, that I started doing is I just have a laminated Cutco kitchen sheet that I just keep right in front of my cutting board all the time. Because again, the more you talk about it, the more you put it in the field, like do a lot of people buy it? Not necessarily, but the more you talk about it, the more opportunities you give yourself to fall into it, right? I went to that lady's house in my fast start and I fell into an ultimate plus an ultimate upgrade. Why? Because she already loved Cutco. I had no idea what I was doing, but she already loved it, and she was already sold on, on, the, on, the, on the quality and the product. Are you challenging yourself to develop the skill set to be able to sell to any Cutco owner you talk to? My goal is always that I can be good enough to help any customer get more Cutco. If you're not already doing this, a great thing to do is just put an hour every week, put it like block it off, like a phone time of a skill development. Make it a focus to develop new, like, new skills, like to, re to review things that you've maybe like slacked off on. That's something that I challenge myself to do because even when, you get, like, when you're at, at the level I'm at right now, I'm like, there's somebody doing something better than me still. There's, some, there's somebody doing something better than me still. Who should I be learning from? Find the masters, follow the models. There's so many great talks. Again, another plug for cross-training. Like, even if the company did not compensate you, you should absolutely do it. You hear me talk about stuff I've learned from, from Kurt. Like, Curtis what is the reason I'm still here. Like, what I learned from him when I went and cross-trained was like, it was revolutionary. And it literally has like saved my cuckoo career. Like when I went, I've gone and cross chain with Curtis, with Josh, with Jason, and doing it for multiple times, like multiple times, multiple years, because it's just, it's so powerful to see like the levels of mastery and also like to, to hear like the little stuff. Two minutes, awesome. Uh, I guess in closing, I would just say challenge yourself every day, every week, every month to get back. Hello? Oh. That's weird. Uh, to get better, to grow, and to have more fun with Cutco customers. I'm the last thing that stands between you guys and lunch, so I'm going to be done. <laughs>